Okay, I'm Jose Fernandez and I'm the owner of Wago Taco. Well, we started as a food truck. We started about, uh, it's almost six years now. We had the food truck for about four years. Uh, it was right when the food truck craze started, uh, here, especially here in Central Florida, is when it first started booming. And uh, we saw a great opportunity to kind of like test the waters on our uh, whole branding and and the whole concept of Waco Taco, and it uh, worked out great, and that's what we moved forward in after four years. Uh, we had the opportunity to sell our food truck as a franchise in Atlanta, and uh, to open this uh, brick and mortar. The hood was like about this high, <laughs> and actually we, like the fryer was right here, and then we'll have the grill right about here. <laughs> so you had to turn really carefully, or you get uh, you know caught with the grill. So it was just it was very challenging. Well, mainly because I, I don't think we get too caught up in the whole uh, trying to define ourselves. We are not. Uh, per se traditional Mexican, we're also not Tex-Mex and so we're not quite, we're just trying to get the freshest food and uh, in a way that we like it. We don't get uh, too caught up in trying to be super traditional, super modern or uh, too hipster. We just want to, you know, bring out uh, food the way we would like to eat it. We're from Mexico, we're originally from Mexico City. We come for, uh, from a uh, very large tradition of cooks in our family since our great grandmother they have had restaurants so we brought a little bit of those like basics that they use in some of the uh, like the way we cook our pork and all that is very traditional but then the way we present it is a little more relaxed a little more uh, you trying to use also things that are indigenous to Florida too so that we can get the freshest uh, and kind of make a Trying to make a representation or our interpretation of the classics, you know, the street taco and stuff like that. Try to put our own spin on it, and I think people so far they, they like it. We're gonna show you our chocolate tacos. It's uh, you know, in the food truck, one of the things we really like to do but never had a chance was desserts. So this was our very first dessert that we tried here at the, uh, you know, at the restaurant, and everybody loved it. It's really simple in in the concept. It's a little tricky in the in the actual making it, you know, and the technique that you need to use to actually get it right. But it's very simple. I think anybody can do it with the with the right uh, clues to 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 how it's done. Okay, so tell us what's the process. How are we it's, gonna do? It's a, it's really simple. It's, it's a chocolate taco that we make with a flour tortilla that we wrap a Hershey a piece of a Hershey bar chocolate tortillas, uh, Hershey's chocolate bar. And uh, two bamboo, six inch bamboo sticks. This is really simple because the Hershey's bar, that's what we like these bars. First of all, because it has the right amount of uh, cocoa and it's not as bitter and it's also not super sweet. That's the right amount. And we wrap it in the uh, flour tortilla. Well, you always want to try when you're folding it, you want to leave all the. You don't want to leave any like edges on it. You want to try to close all the edges because then it'll be less prone in opening it. Okay. Like this. You see, we don't leave any edges. Everything is folded to the inside. Okay. And then we'll leave okay. it like this. And then the first tip that we gave them, which is never work with a cold tortilla, or you always warm it up a little bit. That'll make it, that'll make it more malleable. Okay. Then as it goes to the fryer, so it's all together like that, but we gotta separate them a little bit. Because everything, you know what happens when you put something in a fryer? It expands a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give them some breathing room. Just go into the deep fryer. Deep fryer. We're gonna put them like this. And in order to keep them in place, we're gonna put another basket on top. So they stay in place, stay down. We don't want them floating around too right. much. How long would you say it stays in there? We sprinkle some confectioner's sugar on top and then we make a strawberry sauce that we make here in house and put it on top. That's money right there. That's what we want to try. There you go, yeah, 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 there it is. Look at that. <laughs> Not really sweet sauce on top of it. Fried, melty. 
milky chocolate. Warm and creamy. Chocolate's nice. It's really good. I'm glad they went with the Hershey's. Strawberry, chocolate, and fried. That's awesome. Well, the thing is that in Mexico, in Mexico, really Cinco de Mayo is not a big party uh, occasion. It's more like uh, it's kind of like Fourth of July, but without fireworks. It's I mean, it's you don't really do anything because it's just one of it was a big battle that happened between the Mexicans and the French army. So there's not people don't say, don't really celebrate like they do here in uh, in the in the states. But then I mean, me and my brother we've been here since high school. So it's now it's a, it's a big tradition. It's like you're not Mexican enough if you don't celebrate Cinco. So, so it's actually a bigger <laughs> so tradition now, here. Right, exactly. So That's we so get cool. we get all, all into it now. That's very cool. <laughs> it starts at five o'clock. We're gonna start with the raffles uh, at five. Uh, you know, we start collecting tickets. For every $10 that people spend, they're going to have a ticket for a raffle every hour. Very cool, very cool. And, and spoilers, can you tell us anything about the t-shirt design or is that closely kept under wrap? Well, it's, it has, because, you know, uh, May the 4th being so close, it has to do a little bit with Cinco de Mayo and a little bit with May the 4th. But yeah, we're gonna we want to keep it on the wraps as far as the, the design, but it's pretty fun. I think people are going to like it.